This lesson is related to temperature and molecular motion. By the end of this video, you'll be able to know the relationship between thermal energy and kinetic energy. And we'll talk why does matter go in the first place from a solid to a liquid to a gas to change phase. Here's our vocab. Videos are going to go fast this unit. Feel free to, there'll be a lot of definitions and um, practice. So at any time, feel free to pause the video. Put this at the top. All right, so the first thing is the um, states of matter. This is a, just a review diagram. A lot of you covered this in chemistry. Everyone did this in eighth grade, if you were in science in eighth grade. And the phases of matter are solids and liquids and gases. And there are phase changes. The first one, melting, is a solid to a liquid. Evaporation, liquid to a gas. Condensation, gas to a liquid and freezing or fusion, which is liquid back to a solid. Now something to know about these phases is that in the bottom phases, like boiling water, you need to add heat. That means endothermic. That's a chem word. So you have to add heat to water in order to evaporate it like we did in our boiling lab. In this example, we lose heat. <coughs> Excuse me. Heat is given off when a gas becomes a liquid. So when it rains, energy is released into the atmosphere and it gets warmer. These are called exothermic. So in a review that I asked in classes, what does kinetic energy tell you about an object? Well, it tells you how much work an object can do that's moving. So how much moving energy does it have? So kinetic means moving. And what do you need to know about an object to find its kinetic energy? Well, mass and velocity. So for internal energy or thermal energy, this is our first definition. And this is a big one. This is the whole unit vocab word. Measure of an object's kinetic energy related to its molecules or atoms. So here is gas inside a balloon. And here's a bunch of air molecules moving around inside of it. They have mass. And each one has its own little velocity. You can find the average kinetic energy of all these molecules and that will tell you the internal energy of this gas inside the balloon. What's important to know is that when matter gets hot it's because its molecules are moving faster. So things feel warm because their molecules move. So a microwave does. A microwave, say this piece of ice right here, a microwave vibrate the water molecules heat it up and melt things, or warm up your food, because all food has water molecules inside of it. Your skin feels warm when the sun's solar energy hits it and excites your molecules. They move faster, and your skin feels warm. Some more definitions. Temperature is how we measure. So temperature is just the measure of thermal or internal energy. Example temperature of the water increased during our lab. Heat is when thermal energy travels from one source to another. So if we put some logs here and we're camping, here's a fire, there's a person warming their hands. Okay, this arrow represents heat. Heat is the travel or movement of energy from one source to another. So when you say adding heat or taking heat away, we're talking about um, the movement of this energy, the transfer of this energy. 
So in closing, uh, one of your test questions will be, what has to happen in order for matter to go from a liquid to a gas? And I would like you to explain your energy in terms of heat, not temperature, internal energy, and molecular motion. So the answer would be, going from a liquid to a gas, it's evaporation, add heat, increase molecule speed, which increases internal energy of, of the water liquid. I'm going to, uh, these vocab words are part of your assignment that will be described on the home page. I'm going to be adding um, some more videos on this, on this topic. But you need to make sure that on test day, you could answer this question for any of the phase changes on this page. So you need to make sure you understand this diagram. I might ask you fusion, condensation, evaporation, or melting. On these ones, heat is added, so the molecules move faster. This one, heat is lost, so the molecules slow down. 